Ow! Blood test. Ah! Lab Corp. Okay, it didn't hurt that bad. $56.27 was the cost. I'm checking out. She's like, I gave her my major medical card. Boom, boom, boom. She's like, okay, you're responsible for this if your insurance doesn't pay for it. I happen to know it's not going to pay for it because I have a deductible plus coinsurance. There's no copay for lab work. Most people don't have it. 56 bucks, no big deal. At the bottom, there's a place for what? A credit card number. And I was about to say, I have something that will pay for that. And she said, but you don't have to fill it out now, but you will owe it. And oh, I see you have secondary insurance. See how fast I wove that? Can't tell you who it is. There's eight different companies. It doesn't matter. I can tell you all eight companies that we use and it, it's, it's fine. It's no big deal. But hey, two card system. I said, oh, I have secondary insurance. They're going to pay for that. She said, okay, no problem. I paid nothing today. Now, 56 bucks, still, that's a tank of, was a tank of gas, half tank of gas. Why am I saying this? Right now, we are seeing people struggling with the rising cost of everything. And it's including healthcare. When you get your renewal this year, or in January, or next year, whatever it is, it's gonna be higher. If you're fully insured, it's gonna be higher. If you have a retail plan, you'd have a retail self-funded plan, it's gonna be higher probably, but it's not all higher for everybody. So everything's going up, it's squeezing everybody financially, and what's a little thing you can do that could help? This. Secondary insurance, reinsurance. Now this is not a self-funded plan. This is not a partially self-funded plan. This is not RBP. This is one strategy to consider that we have used a lot for the past decade. Actually, I wrote a book about it called How to Fix the, for the Nonprofit's Guide to Fixing the Healthcare Debacle. And you can get that at um, nonprofitguide.com. Nonprofitguide.com. You can grab an excerpt or you can get the book there. It's, you know, 10 years of what we did and how do we do it? Because people are like, I've never heard of this, so it must not be true. No, you just haven't heard about it. <laughs> it's been around for 20 years, actually. So... Why am I saying this? Because deductibles are going up. Coinsurance is adjusting. The out-of-pocket maximum cost is going up. And you as a CFO, CEO, HR director, owner, president, board of directors, you're struggling with what do we do? I will tell you this. There are things you can do. Do not buy into the fact that, oh, there's nothing we can do. Our costs just go up. We've looked at this before. We looked at that before. You know what? COVID came around and no one has ever seen that before and things are different now post COVID. Would you agree? There are things you just don't know about that weren't available. Maybe as much as they were five years ago as they are today. They might've been there, but maybe they weren't refined, right? It's like the electric car with Tesla, like 10 years ago, Tesla, I think was around, right? But now much different. So don't make the conclusion. There's nothing we can do except skinny the network raise the deductible, um, change the cost sharing with the employees and so forth. There are absolutely things you can do. And one of them is a two card system. Now your employees. So let's take a different example. Instead of this, let's take my shoulder, which is feeling amazingly good right now. I'm just pretending like it's hurting because imagine if it was hurting, and I went to the doctor eventually after a while. I'm like, you know, there is, it's just, oh, it's just eventually after a week or two or 10 weeks for a men, I don't know. We go to the doctor. They go oh, move here, move here. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what's going on, John. We have to do what? Like some tests, an X-ray, an MRI, a CAT scan, a CT scan, I don't know, a PET scan. I think it's for your brain or something. I don't know. Some kind of test. I need to see what's going on, right? I need you to go, here's the prescription, go downstairs in the hospital, or you know, you can go here for this, or whatever, whatever you go, go get an MRI. Uh, okay, on my shoulder, great. Uh, how much is that gonna be? Oh, I don't know, right? That's, I don't get involved in that. Okay, fine, do you have any idea? No, so in the waiting room, I'm Googling, what does an MRI on a shoulder cost? And it's like, holy crap, $2,300, $1,500, four grand. I'm like, oh, great, so I make my appointment, or I call, the place it might be the hospital where the doctor works it might be a standalone and I say um, before I come in this is a smart way to do it the wrong way to do it is just show up 
get it done, never ask them. And then you may find out real fast how much it is, but yes, it's going to be two grand, but you know, every insurance is different, John. So it could be, you know, I'm not exactly sure you get this run around of like, what is it going to be? I don't know. We have to run it through insurance first and then I'll be able to tell you, well, take my word for it. Most MRIs like that is simple. It's going to be anywhere from $800, $600 to $4,000, depending on where you go. Most people are spending about $1,800 for an MRI average, give or take. Maybe it's changed. I don't have 1800 bucks. I show up, I'm like, yeah, no. Um, <laughs> I don't have a, another card since this card, since my insurance card isn't paying for it, it's giving me the right to pay for it. It's not really paying for it. It's giving me the privilege to pay the two grand. I'm paying premiums for the privilege of them paying more. That's fine, that's kind of the way it is, I guess, from my plan. So I have a second card, credit card, debit card. Like, what other card do you have? So instead, I go, and so that scenario, we're like, yeah, no, I don't have the money. So I'm gonna, it's not that bad. It's actually feeling pretty good today. So you go home and deceive yourself, and before you know it, three weeks later, you're back and you need so shoulder surgery, which is a lot more expensive than two grand. And you find out, oh my gosh, I'm gonna max my plan out, my maximum out-of-pocket exposure from my medical plan, from my plan is $6,350. $6, Some people have it up to 8,700 and it's climbing every year. It's going up and up and up. $8,700 of what I would have to pay to have my shoulder fixed. And if I don't fix it, I'm gonna be in serious trouble, so I have to get my shoulder fixed. This is what's happening to people. 30 to 40% of Americans, and this was two years ago, the study, look it up, are delaying or just eliminating care because of their out-of-pocket costs. They have insurance, but they don't have the money for the deductible or the coinsurance after that or a surgery. So they don't do it and it gets worse. Anytime things get worse, it gets more expensive for your company. My shoulder surgery for a hundred grand is gonna hit your claims. My little sling that I could have got would have hit your plan for $2,000 of which someone else might've paid the bill. Do you see the difference? See how that impacts your costs over time? Secondary insurance, two card system, Reinsurance is a strategy that we have used for a decade. Nine out of 10 times, eight to nine out of 10 times is a good fit. Sometimes it's not. We don't know until we talk to you and find out like where you sit. Most of the time you don't have to change your medical carrier. This is like, what? I can stay with Anthem? Yeah, fine. Cigna, fine. It doesn't matter. We adjust your plan design to pay for the insurance. The insurance is like 10 bucks a week for three or $4,000 of annual coverage, first dollar. So it's not that expensive, really. Never heard of that before. I don't know, let me ask my broker. Ask your broker. Don't be shocked if like, hey, how come you've been working for me, for us for 10 years and you've never mentioned this? Um, whoops, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, 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 we got that stuff. Yeah, there's someone in my office that did that a couple years ago. I'm sure we can we can test it on you. You need a specialist for secondary insurance. You want to work with a specialist with reinsurance on this type of coverage because if you make the wrong call, your employee is going to be really upset. Because they're going to go to give this card and they're going to be like, no, we don't accept that. Uh oh. Now what? Mary in HR is scrambling. Bob at the CFO is like, oh my God, it wasn't my call. And the owner or the president, you, the CEO, is getting hammered by your employees because they want to raise because they can't afford their health care. Millingroup.com, schedule a call with me, 15, 20 minutes. I will tell you within the first five minutes whether it's a fit. You don't need to give me a census or anything initially, just a quick conversation. But here's the final point. Your employees already are using two cards. They're already using two cards, their medical and a credit card. Why not have someone else pay the first four, three, four, five thousand dollars? Hope this is helpful.